Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. So today I have a money guide for you guys on this event week. I really wanted to get this video out for you guys yesterday, so I do apologize for being a day late, but I'm a day late because I was working on the Kanata review last night mostly. I wanted to get that out first. But this guide is good until Wednesday. So until this Wednesday night, it's good. Um, it's one of the event week resets on Thursday. You can still use this guide. However, though, you're gonna be making roughly half of what you uh, make. And in this guide, I actually have two strategies to make the most money this week and one strategy is solo because I know a lot of you guys just want to do everything solo and I have another one that is um, uh, that is that requires a little bit more teamwork but you actually get much more money so I'll have both and I'll have timestamps down below to basically help you guys navigate to whatever part of the video that you want to go to but anyways um, uh, for a solo player uh, what we are going to need on this is we're going to need a bunker um, we are going to need an acid lab and we are going to need a nightclub and all of these fully upgraded. So you will require these businesses fully upgraded, but once you have these businesses, you'll be able to make um, a ton of money from this guide. Now, what if you don't have that much money, I still recommend to buy these businesses this week because you will get all of your money back that you invest in these businesses if you just simply follow this guide this week. But anyways, let's start off here with the bunker. So with the bunker, it is actually three times more money on ammunition contracts right now. Ammunition contracts, these are these trucks that basically spawn inside your bunker. And these spawn every 48 minutes. And this solo guide, we are going to be basically going off 7 hours. So when I have a lot of time to play that day, you know, when I'm free, it's, I have a day off. You know, it's about 6 to 7 hours when I'll play. And so that's what I'm basing this off of, also calculating the other businesses. So in those 7 hours that we would be playing, we can sell 8 of these. Since it's every 48 minutes, a, one of these trucks spawn. And every truck is $150,000, which means we will get $1,200,000 alone from just driving a truck from point A to point B, easy. And you can do this in an invite-only session with these trucks. These trucks don't have any kind of high demand bonus. There is not any extra bonus for selling in the lobby of players. So it just sell in invite-only sessions with these trucks. And here's a little tip for you guys. If you guys don't like the route that you get, if you get like an annoying route, like I hear, I believe I had like six miles something. If you don't like the route that you get, all you basically need to do is you just need to find a new session. Set your spawn location as the bunker, find new invite only session. You'll be connected in just a few seconds if you're playing on, you know, next gen consoles. And there you go. You connect into the, you connect into the bunker, you try again, and you can get a better route. And that's what I did. I got a much quicker route here, took that, did it, no problem. Okay, so what are we going to be doing in between while we're doing also those truck missions, the ammunition contracts every 48 minutes? What we're going to be doing is we are going to be buying one batch of full supplies for the bunker. If you have the bunker fully upgraded, just buy that one batch of full supplies. It's going to cost you $75,000. Now, this will take about 2 hours and 20 minutes to produce this. And when the 2 hours and 20 minutes is done, what that is going to produce is that's going to produce $420,000 worth of guns. This would normally be $210,000. Make sure that you sell it in the city, obviously, because that's how you get the $420,000. You get that extra money. Now, here's the thing about this. If you buy one batch of full supplies and you sell it after that batch is done, it will always be one delivery vehicle. Always one one vehicle, which makes doing solo missions for the bunker much easier. Now, this is a bit controversial, but I do recommend doing this. Sell that bunker shipment in a public session when it finishes producing after those 2 hours and 20 minutes. Make sure you have a stopwatch so you know when about 2 hours and 20 minutes passes. And when 2 hours and 20 minutes passes, buy another batch of full supplies right before you sell it, just so it can start getting delivered and you can start getting another batch produced right away. Now, why sell in the public lobby? If you don't want to sell in the public lobby and you don't want to take that risk, just sell in the invite-only session, you get $420,000. But here, you can get extra $200,000 with the strategy. Look for a full lobby because there's a high demand bonus. That high demand bonus is an extra 2.5% per player in that lobby. This stacks up to 20 players max, which means if you join up a lobby with you know 20 players or more, you will get around $10,500 per player. Now, if we multiply that by 20, we get an extra $210,000. That's $630,000. And what I recommend to do is check the map before you sell. Make sure there's no facilities, nobody sitting on an orbital cannon. Make sure there's nobody, you know, going crazy in the lobby, just killing a bunch of people with an oppressor, for example. Get into your, your vehicle, whatever it is. Fortunately, I got an easy insurgent mission. But you can do it solo with all the other vehicles. Get into it 
And what you're going to want to do is activate Ghost Organization after one minute. I like to drive for a minute. The reason I like to drive for a minute is because the global signal doesn't get activated until like around 20, 30 seconds. And most griefers don't catch on until like about one to two minutes when you're into the sale. So when people use Ghost Organization right when the sale starts, I think it's a waste of money. Um, I think it's wait like a minute or two. After a minute or two, use Ghost Organization. It's going to cost you $12,000. But you're going to be hidden for three minutes. Once you're hidden for three minutes... Go to the drop. Go to wherever you need to go. And if some idiot tries to destroy your stuff, all you basically need to do is just find new session before the stuff is destroyed. And you will lose, I think, around 10% of the product. So I do think that it's worth it. You get an extra 200000 Now, in this lobby that I was playing in, I knew nobody in this lobby. None of these people were my friends. I had one or two people message me um, uh, just on the phone. They recognized me from, you know, my YouTube channel. But I did not have anybody protecting me. There was nobody protecting me. It was just all randoms. That was just it. And I managed to do this. I do this all the time by myself, do solo sales, use that ghost organization. You got that three minute window. So yes, I do think that it's worth it. I very rarely have gotten destroyed when I've done this, this strategy. So again, if you don't want to do this, okay, but it's an extra 200K, which I really think it'll help. Now, in, if we're going to be playing for around seven hours and each batch takes about two hours and 20 minutes to produce, I think that we can do three of these, you know, bunker sales in a single day. And so if we're getting around $630,000, that's how much we get from, you know, the bunker sales. We multiply that by three, we get $1,890,000. If we would be to subtract the, the $225,000, that's how much we put into the supplies, you know, we're still, you know, at a, at a good amount. You know, we're at like $1,675,000, $680,000, like around there. So that's still, you know, over $1,600,000 profit just right there easy for just, you know, buying a batch of full supplies and just driving that single vehicle to wherever it needs to go. Now, I know some of the missions can be a little harder, but it's still always going to be one vehicle. The other thing that we're going to be doing in between this is we are also going to be producing our acid. This is where, you know, the acid lab is important. Now, the acid lab, it has 160 units to produce. Now, it'll take two batches of full supply. So each batch of su full supply is about 60,000. So we'll be putting 120,000 into the um, acid lab. Now, I know that with the acid lab, it's about three bars. So uh, to one batch of full supply, so you will have a little bit left over, but about two batches of full supplies to produce it. Every 90 seconds, a unit produces, but you can actually use the boost. If you use the acid lab boost, it'll actually produce for, uh, it'll shorten that time to 45 seconds for about 80 units for, or an hour. So if you do the acid lab boost, for example, and you just buy supplies, you buy those two batches of supplies, then your acid lab will pr finish in about three hours. If you don't use the boost, because you can only use the boost once a day, it'll be about four hours to produce it fully, as long as you have a continuous batch of supplies. So in seven hours, I do think that you can sell two, um, you can sell two full acid labs. I don't think that that's an issue. Check up on your acid every one and a half hours to two hours just to see what the supplies are at. You can also call Mutt and just have him order supplies if you don't feel like going back to the acid lab. But make sure you know you buy that second batch of supplies. Now, what we're going to be doing is when we sell the acid lab, we're, what I recommend to do is a lot of people miss this, is go into the uh, settings, go into the vehicle settings, find the acid lab, and name your acid. If you name your acid, you pick one of the names, you get an extra 5%. And that stacks in the high demand bonus. So that's how, how I have $351,840. Now, same exact thing that we were doing with the bunker before. We're going to be selling this in a populated lobby, full lobby. And again, I did not get attacked. I did not get harassed in here. I did not know anybody. I did have people message me that only two people that, that you know, said hi. They recognized me from my channel. But again, I had no friends in here. I did not, you know, recognize anybody at first. And I didn't know anybody. Nobody was protecting me. So this is the point. People always, people always say, oh, you have people, an army of people protecting you. No, not necessarily. Just showing you guys you can do this solo. I wait about a minute. I activate Ghost Organization for uh, 12000 Now, with the Acid Lab sale, the high demand bonus, that 2.5% per player, is going to be about $8,795 per player. We multiply that by 20, we get an extra $175,900, which means we can get $527,740. And if you get like missions like this with the police, for example, you can just go in the subway. Subways, this bike is very effective. And it's also an easy way to lose griefers. If griefers are chasing, you go in the subway, you lose them easily. And I believe that you can do this two times in that day. So if you're playing, you know, for about seven hours, maybe a little bit, eight hours around in that day, I think that you can sell the acid lab, you know, two times, which will get you about $1,055,480. Now, if we subtract... If we subtract the $240,000, that's going to be about still $800,000 profit, 
you know, for not that much work. So I do think the bonus in that regard is worth it. Next up here, what we're also going to be doing, and all of these businesses, you're going to be running at the same time, guys. So make sure you keep that in mind. I'm just going through each business to make it simple. The other business that we're going to be using is we're going to be using the, the nightclub. And for the nightclub, this is going to be the most expensive one. You don't really need this one for the guide, but it's a way to get an extra amount of money. Now, the other businesses, you're going to need, you know, the MC businesses. You're going to need a cargo warehouse to connect to the nightclub. And for the nightclub, make sure you take a look at this screen. You are going to want your technicians to be sourcing sporting goods, which is the bunker, cargo and shipments, which would be a cargo warehouse, um, pharmaceutical research, which would be meth. Um, you are going to be wanting to also do um, South American imports, which South American imports, that's cocaine, and also the um, cash creation, which is for counterfeit cash. You want your technicians to be sourcing those five. And in about seven to eight hours, I think that you will be getting around, you know, 500,000, maybe a little less, a little bit more. But in that single day, if you have them producing, you can also, you know, call Johan to speed this up. I do, I call Johan a lot, do those source missions really quickly, deliver right back to my um, nightclub. You, you can have around $500,000. That's just my rough estimate if you're going to be playing that day. Uh, if, if I'm a little bit off on this, just feel free to correct me, but that's just, you know, what I what I'm trying to say is I think that around you can make around five hundred thousand if you call Johan a few times and you have you know the nightclub constantly producing that you don't need to resupply this you know the supplies are free on that they'll just produce automatically if you sell five hundred thousand dollars of stock for example uh, Tony's gonna be taking a ten percent cut so for that five hundred thousand be four hundred fifty thousand now two point five percent of four hundred fifty thousand dollars is actually going to be eleven thousand eleven thousand two hundred fifty dollars. And we take that $11,250, we multiply that by 20, we get an extra $225,000. And we add that onto that $450,000, we can get, you know, $675,000. So nightclub, I know I'm being a little vague on that, on how much it's going to produce in about seven hours. Um, if you know the exact calculations, how much it will produce in seven hours, let me know down below. But I think that if you, if you, if you work with Johan and you have this producing in between, I do think you can get up to that amount um, in that time. And ultimately, um, you know, if you do these sales, you know, you activate ghost organization, all of these businesses are one vehicle, you know, each bunker, one batch of full supplies, and, you know, Acid Lab, always one vehicle, unless, you know, you have more players in your, you know, CEO or MC, then you will have, you know, more vehicles. But if you're doing it solo, always one vehicle, you sell as a CEO and activate ghost organization, all three of these you can sell as a CEO, and you will be getting basically, um, uh, in my calculations, around four and a half million uh, to five million dollars per day. That's if, you know, we subtract, um, uh, you know, if we subtract all the supplies that we had purchased from that, that's basically a rough estimate of what we will get. Now, you can actually get even more than that. I, I could see you getting up to, you know, seven million dollars in like a day, uh, and if you run like something else, like if you run missions, maybe VIP work, or you run a Cayo Perigo heist in between which you can also do solo, you can increase this by a lot. But this is just going off of these businesses and, you know, and selling those um, ammunition contracts. You will be making that amount. That is basically around it. So I could see you going up to six or seven million dollars um, in a single day just with this solo method if you do the other activities. However, though, what I will say is if you're a busy guy like me, and uh, you have a lot of things to do, but you still want to make money, this is what I recommend you do. And that is that after you have those supplies delivered, all you basically need to do is go on the security cameras. That's all you basically need to do. Just go on the security cameras. And the reason you go on the security cameras is because you can sit AFK on these cameras. I personally like the bunker ones because they're right next to a laptop. You can sit AFK on these and you will not be kicked. You won't be kicked from the session. This is what I did yesterday. When I actually had a, was doing my Kanata review, I was actually just sitting on the cameras, letting my nightclub, my acid lab, and my bunker produce. That's what I would do, be doing. And I would check every 48 minutes, and I would do one of these missions, too. So use a stopwatch if you're busy. You know, if you got to go to work, if you got to do something, you know, you can't be playing, but you still want to make a good amount of money, you can just leave, you know, your console on, go AFK, you know, come back every few hours, buy some supplies, you know, do an ammunition contract, go AFK again, and then you'll have these businesses ready for you to sell later in the day. And you can sell the bunker every two, two hours and 20 minutes. You can sell the acid lab three hours with the boost, four hours normally, so two in a day. And you can sell nightclub, you know, also once a day. But I recommend personally to build up the nightclub more, but it's up to you if you want to sell it, whatever you have that day.
And here is the second strategy. This one's a little bit more team-based. It's very similar to the solo strategy. I did also want to mention it because you can make a little bit more money. Now, I don't want to repeat myself twice on a lot of this stuff. I don't want this video to be, you know, super long. So if you want to like look back on, you know, me explaining the basics of the businesses, go back in the solo section. I did explain that. But anyways, this is assuming on a two-day basis that we're going to be doing this second strategy on a two-day basis. So playing for two days. Um, you know, not obviously straight for two days, but, um, you know, you play for one day, you take a break, you play for the next day. So uh, over two days, you know, we'll be, we'll, we will be doing instead 16 ammunition contracts, which would be 2,400,000 instead of, you know, eight um, in one day. And what we would be doing is we would be, you know, doing the Acid Lab also. Acid Lab, you know, exact same thing, you know, got the calculations up here on the screen. You know, we sell that solo in a populated lobby and you know if we make four sales in two days we can make two million one hundred and ten thousand nine hundred sixty dollars now here's the other the important part here this part is the bunker the bunker because it's double money if we actually fill it up all the way we can make a lot more money however though this is where it's a little bit more team based you are going to need two other people at least to help you out with this now for that bunker being full it will be selling for about two million one hundred thousand dollars. I have the calculations up here on the screen. If you are, if you take two point five percent of that bunker amount, two point five percent per player, that's fifty-two thousand five hundred dollars bonus per player in that lobby. We multiply that by twenty, we get an extra one million fifty thousand dollars, bringing our total to three million one hundred fifty thousand dollars. Now the the bunker takes about. 12 hours to produce. It's 2 hours and 20 minutes for every batch of supplies, 5 batches of supplies, about, you know, a, close to 12 hours. So, you know, nobody's really going to play for 12 hours straight. So, you know, if you play for a few hours in one day, you play for a few hours the next day, I could totally see somebody filling up the bunker in two days. And if you go to sleep, you know, you could, you know, go AFK on the security cameras if you want. And, you know, we wake up and, you know, another batch is done. And that's that. And then we look at the nightclub. The nightclub, if we actually sell it for much more, in this case, I was actually selling it full. It takes about three full days to, to produce, three real life days to produce a nightclub, which, you know, nobody's going to get to that amount. But I still wanted to show you guys it 1831000 with a 2.5% bonus. It's going to be a $45,000 bonus per player, 45787 Multiply that by 20, we get 915000 uh, and we add uh, it on to 1831000 We can get 2747000 as I'd gotten from the nightclub. However, though, what I recommend with the nightclub instead, instead of, you know, going for that huge fill-up right there, just do it, sell it after a million dollars. Because once you sell the nightclub past the million dollars in goods, what's going to happen is Tony only takes a max $100,000 cut. So he doesn't take more than that. So after a million dollars, Tony takes... Just hundred thousand dollars, nothing more than that. So there's more, more for you to keep in your pocket. And if we were to sell, for example, one million one hundred thousand dollars, you know that would be basically about a twenty-five thousand dollar bonus per player in that lobby. We multiply that by twenty, that is an extra five hundred fifty thousand dollars, which would give us a one million five hundred fifty thousand dollars for the nightclub. If we add all of that together, for example, we get nine million two hundred and ten thousand nine hundred sixty dollars. So somewhere between nine to ten million dollars. So if you have more time, I would recommend just fill up the bunker all the way. And you can bring this up past you know, nine to ten million dollars. You could even get up to eleven, twelve million dollars if you run a few Cayo Pericos, you know, casino heist your friends, run a few other businesses. So that's pretty much that for this is this this week's guide. I do think it's a really effective guide. If you guys have any questions, let me know down below. Again, I'm not trying to repeat myself too much like that. If I repeated myself too much, I apologize for that. I just like to emphasize my points a lot and just I like to really explain things. So if you guys found this helpful, do drop a like. It does help me to make more guides like this. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care everyone. Have a wonderful day guys. Thanks.